Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpios general love reading. We're outside, Scorpios, and we are still in Magical May. We are actually in the end of it. So I greet you in beautiful, amazing, loving energy. I hope I find you in the same energy. I hope you are co-creating. I hope you are keeping your vibrational energy high. You need to fly like an eagle. You need to stay free, Scorpios. <clears throat> so let's tap into your energy. First, we're going to see how you're feeling currently, what's going on for you specifically. And then we're going to see about your external, which would be the person who you are dealing with or the person you're soon to deal with or the person you've been dealing with, all right? It is a general. It's not going to be for every beautiful, amazing Scorpio. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. It's cloudy today. It's going to feel just, it's, oh man, just amazing. The sun ain't out. <clears throat> but we are expecting rain later on in the week. So I don't know if it's rain or storm. So I'm going to be outside when I can. Because it's been flooding around here lately. So let's see, Spirit. How currently is Scorpio's feeling? What is the energy surrounding Scorpio currently, specifically, <clears throat> internally for Scorpio Spirit? What is going on internally? As far as love and romance is concerned for Scorpios, very so many internal for Scorpios. Oh, so you got attraction in the reverse and you got children. So for some of you guys, you may not be feeling yourself. You may not be feeling good about yourself. You may feel like you ain't got time. Oh, you got unrequited love. You may be feeling unloved and unloved at this time. You may not be proud of yourself. You may be hard on yourself. When, well, when it's coming to love, you may feel like you're not attractive. For some of you guys, you got children interfering. For some of you guys, you may cannot have children. For some of you guys, you may be pregnant and you're feeling insecure. And for some of you guys, Spirit is telling you to take back your power. Go out there and live your life. Raise your vibration. It says... To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. For some of you guys, you need to have fun because you may be being too hard on yourself right now. You may not be feeling like the person you're dealing with. You may not be feeling attracted because maybe you've been having no action. But you got attraction and children. Attraction in the reverse and children in the upright. Mm. You may feel like they're not feeling you. <clears throat> maybe, maybe somebody's, maybe your children are getting in the way. Maybe you feel like your children are getting in the way or something you need to deal with from your childhood that's having you feeling like you're not good enough now it's a general now i know everybody don't feel like that but whatever come out is what i'm going with so it's not going to be for everybody so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest so let's see about your external who is this external energy surrounding scorpios externally pertaining to love and romance who is this external energy for Scorpios. <clears throat> Whew, so you got very soon in the reverse. And you deserve love in the reverse. Oof. They don't feel like they deserve you, Scorpios. Worth waiting for. Then you got new love. I feel like whoever this person is, mm, this person may have started with somebody new because they may feel like you don't want them. See, that's for somebody, y'all, because you got new love and passion. Now, it could represent just taking the two cards you got very soon in the reverse and worth waiting for in reverse, and you deserve love is in reverse. See? So, it could represent that somebody feels like you're no longer attracted to them now. This is why you got you deserve love in the reverse. Oh, Scorpio. I feel like y'all done stung the crap out of somebody. I feel like you done overstung them. <clears throat> they may be feeling like you're no longer attracted to them. And you may be feeling like they're no longer attracted to you, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. Y'all feeling, y'all both feel like the other one don't want each other no more. 
but your person Scorpios your external now it could also represent Scorpio that your person <clears throat> may have given up on this connection and they're pursuing new love or it could represent that your external is bringing in passion with new love okay it's different for everybody this is your external after all so for some of you guys, your person is looking for new love because they feel like you don't want them no more. And for others, you are you got this. Even though you're not feeling it, but you're about to run into a new love that's going to be very, very passionate. All right? That's your external. So let's see. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Scorpios? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know I'll be repeating stuff. This channel, my other channel. Just rock with it. All right? got a chance to go work out today i was so happy i also got a chance to go to macy's i usually go to macy's for their candles they always have a big variety of scented candles at macy's is it macy's or marshall's no it's marshall's we ain't got no macy's and marshall's but i be looking for the red tags okay i like those little outlets so they always have the red tags i remember when i was working at burlington's and i was working on the markdown it was the apartment man i loved it i look for Everywhere I go, I'm looking for the red tag, y'all. But I was looking for the red tag scented candles. When I want my scented candles, I mean, when I'm, I remember when I used to work at Burlington, when I used to mark down that part, that home part, man, I used to stack up on them. That's back in the day when we used to have, was it 50% off? Man, a lot has changed. Man, I live for the markdowns. Man, I love that job. Man, I, that's where we had to lay away too. Man, I was laying away in my tail. If I had so much stuff. Ah, but that that's before the vid 19. Things were changing anyway though. Because if you go into any Burlington store now, you can tell. Now, I don't know if that's just here in Arkansas. But I think it's just here in Arkansas. Because I've seen people do videos and they look full. They look like thrift stores here. Yeah, because they done ran through them. It looked like a big old Goodwill. But they still hanging on though. I don't think I have the patience to do it now, though, because you got to do a lot of walking. I think I, I think I like being <clears throat> to myself. So I, whatever I do is going to be from home now. I didn't got spoiled now. So let's see, Scorpio, what's going on in your love life? Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpio. For some of y'all, y'all got new love coming in, Scorpios. Because it could be that you got a new person. Some of you guys, somebody you may have... Um, this whole time while you're second guessing yourself and thinking that you got a little foop or that you didn't gain some weight or you ain't cute or whatever, you already got somebody coming in that's going to change all of that, Scorpios. Ooh, they're going to change all. They're going to put something on your mind. They're going to tell you that ain't nothing wrong with some extra pushing of fuck. Wait, <laughs> I messed up. I'm sorry, King George. They're going to tell you that ain't nothing wrong with an extra cushion of the pushing. Now, if you got a problem with that, you take it out with King George. King George said it. I didn't sound good when he said it, too. I sure want to sing, see King George sing live. So, I'm going to try my hardest to go to this next blues fest. All right. So, let me shut these cards. Let me make sure because I didn't use this new deck. Because I'm using these for just about all my readers because I like them. So, let me make sure I ain't carrying over. I just did Aries. Ooh, it feels so beautiful out here. It just seems so quiet and so peaceful. You can think. You can meditate. You can pray. You can talk to the universe. The universe can reveal things to you when you can find a place of peace. And that pace of place of peace it comes from within we can go to buildings we can go to different places but it has to be an inward thing because that's the only way that's, that's the only thing that's going to separate you from the chaos of the world all right scorpios but what message do you have for scorpios pertaining to love scorpios and love see who is I guess I do a cancer I've been seeing a lot of cancer energy for y'all I think that's next after Gemini ain't it Ooh, this is I like this said I mentioned cancer because I can see y'all settling down with a cancer look ten of Pentacles somebody feeling left out 
Tina oranges. Look. That showed up in reverse though. Five of coins. <laughs> Look. Ten of cups. Ooh. Ooh, now look at you. Isn't she beautiful? Look. The Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. Mm, this must be a Scorpio reading. But they go to Hangman. I feel like in some of you guys, if you got a current situation and it's in it's hanging in the balance, ain't nobody taking no action. What's going to happen is, see, you're going to have this new love that's going to stir your passion. And some of y'all going to end up forgetting about that past person. That's what I feel. Because that empress, she ready. Some of y'all, that whatever this other energy is, I feel like they finna be bypassed from this new love. You got the 1010 and the empress. You know the empress is abundant. The Wheel of Fortune represents divine timing. You remember the, the live reading we did? You got the divine timing card. And here it is, the Wheel of Fortune, uh, great fortune, uh, fate, destiny, karma, good luck, good time, things turning in your favor. Look, and look at him. Knight of coins. Look at the little jumpsuit he got on. What kind of shoes he got? He got on some sneakers. Ain't this a nice day? Look at him all drenched all out. Could have a night <laughs> coming up to the empress. Look at that. Oh, now look at him. Look at this little old boy. Page of Cups. Hey, Miss Scorpio Parker. Look at that. Cowboy. So for some of y'all, you may be... You may have turned your back on one situation. Maybe Spirit's telling you you need to start self-loving yourself because somebody don't feel attractive. I don't know why the attractive card is in the reverse. Maybe you're not attracted towards them anymore. Because that empress deals with beauty. So maybe it's time for you. Maybe this Wheel of Fortune is going to bring that energy in. Something you've been waiting to get your energy back. Get your mojo back. I feel like that's what you've been waiting. And now you, some of y'all finna get it, get it. And now you finna attract everything. Because you got the 10, 10 here. Now look, they go to Six of Cups. Mm. The world... What else for Scorpio spirit? What's going on for Scorpio? Sure. Page of Swords. Ooh, so this is the this is the uh, celebrity because that's Amy Winehouse. Y'all remember? I love Amy Winehouse, man. Man, she got that kind of mellow, collie energy. Past time, what I can do with that? Now half time. Time to make it. Oh man, I used to love me some Amy Winehouse. Man, I used to watch all her stuff. I watched her documentary. She just got that funky, that funky diva ish. See there? Y'all know that they got a new movie coming out with Amy Winehouse. I wonder, is it already out? That's her. See, ain't it? Look at her. Isn't this a beautiful deck? That's Amy Winehouse, baby. Page of Swords. Well, I wonder who is this Empress? Y'all know who this empress looks to me? She, this look like Sierra. Look, and that go to two of cups. And that go to knight of wands underneath the bottom. This two of cups. I mean, this empress looks like Sierra. This looks like Sierra when she was pregnant. Or is it Beyonce? Oh, I bet that's Beyonce, y'all. I bet, I bet they gave Beyonce the empress card. That would make sense. Is this her? I wonder who is this? It don't look like a man. Oh, I had a banana on my lip the whole time. I'm happy I decided to look up. I ate a banana. There it is. Who y'all think this is? Ain't that Beyonce or Sierra? Kind of look like Solange. I bet that's Beyonce because she had that thing on her head before, didn't she? That's Beyonce. That's Amy Winehouse. This is a... Uh, I bet this is DJ... Uh, what do you say? In another one. And another one. Something like that. 
They're gonna try to go to rehab, I say no. Y'all, who is this? I know this is a very, very eclectic. It's right on the tip of my mind. Hey, somebody checking you out, Scorpio, that's for sure. But look how exotic this is. Isn't this beautiful? She got strawberries on. Look at that. This, this is a pretty deck. And like I say, you got that... Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say, that, that Empress goes next to that Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Wands is underneath right here. And you got the Six of Wands underneath the bottom. I feel like what is represented as the Six of Wands, you got a lot of attention on you right now, Scorpios. A lot. Of course you do. You got that you're glowing. Scorpios, you are glowing. I said no, no, no. That's Amy Winehouse and Beyonce. That's Queen. What's that? No, she ain't Queen B. That's uh, Queen B is Lil' Kim. That's the goddess. Y'all know Queen. Y'all know Beyonce. Y'all already know. I, I can see her as the empress. It would make sense. But they're watching you. You know, somebody, you got all types of attention on you, Scorpio. And it could be the person, like I say, you got new love here. Let me see, you got worth waiting for in verse and very soon. Now, it, this could represent somebody here can no longer wait here. This could have been somebody here who's been waiting to meet someone like you. They've been checking you out for a while. They feel this connection. They are extremely passionate about you. And they see y'all who's doing it all with the 10 10. This person may have shut down everybody else to get to you. Somebody may have five of pentacles, everybody else, the 10 of pentacles, you. You did? It could be that this person has made up their mind what they want because they done laid eyes on you. And this could be a new person for some of y'all, Scorpio. This may not be somebody from your past. Mm. I feel like this is somebody here who was put inside their business and their career, their finances for a little while. Because you got finances and career in the reverse. It's almost like somebody's finna start pursuing love. Or somebody's ready to bring some type of offer your way. So let's clarify these. You got the Page of Swords, the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. With the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. So let's see. Okay, cause I've already. Mm. When did I break off? All right. This is amazing, Scorpios. For some of y'all, y'all finna have a new love. But for some of y'all, you got new love around you, but you got some children issues. But either your children is just occupying a lot of your time, or it says your children are affecting your love life. Somebody may be pregnant now. Somebody may want to be pregnant or somebody. Let's see. Let's start off with this page of swords. And it's Knight of Wands. Fortune. Page of Swords for Scorpios. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's going on with this Page of Swords? Is somebody checking you out, watching you, observing you, talking about you, inquiring about you? 
They're trying to figure out what's your name, little mama. You looking all good. I can't help but to see you. I mean, goddamn, yeah. I, I wouldn't even. I didn't even see nobody else in the room. Once I laid eyes on you, it was like everybody else disappeared. <laughs> That's what they saying, honey. And that page of swords, that two of cups to that empress. For some of y'all, could be an air sign. Mm, page of swords. They went straight from page to a king. Ooh. Page of swords. Three of Pentacles. Someone may be seeking you out for some type of collaboration or some type of teamwork. Ooh, because somebody looking at you like you got it going on, Scorpio. See? Somebody want to be on your team. They said they want to be on the winning team, team of Scorpio. Page of Swords. That's what they observe. At least that's what they feel. When they see you, Miss Page of Swords, because remember, you got the Empress and the Ten Ten. Could be, could be, could be this new love checking you out, and it's, they're very passionate about you because, see, Knight of Cups, here they come. They finna come in here and lay it on thick. Ooh, Twin Flame, somebody looking to cuff you down. Could be a Leo. Somebody said they finna cuff you down, Scorpio. They say you, you, they say you, you shouldn't be out here pumping your gas. They say, you better not pick up that trash. <laughs> pick up the magician card. This could be something y'all manifested. I know in that other reading on my other channel, it's all about the manifestation, Scorpio. There it is again. I feel like this is what you're manifesting. Ooh, some of y'all manifesting these deep connections. Or you manifested your soulmate and they're coming in with this uh, Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. What's up with this Knight of Wands for Scorpios? Knight of Wands for Scorpios. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Why is this Knight of Wands here for Scorpio spirit? Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. This is somebody here who probably doing cockwheels, passing by, revving up their motor just to get your attention. See there? So this person say, what's the song? That's what I used to do. Fire and desire Then I laid eyes It was pain Fitful pleasure See this person used to be a player Scorpios But this is somebody here that's changing Now they in the upright night of one I it's like somebody's looking at you and saying, I can't come at Scorpio like that. Now the rest of them maybe, see? See, because this person said, I can't, see, check it out. This person said that they can't approach you like they usually would do it, it, when they was out there like that. They said because when they see you, they see something real. That's what they see in you. Hmm. Wow, Scorpios. The Empress, Page of Swords. See that? It became hooked on you. They go that love at first sight energy again, Scorpio. See? They know what they want, Scorpio. So I can easily see this if it's a new person here uh, not wanting to wait. This is somebody here that may be trying to rush things too. Because. I feel like they're anxious, they want to rush things, but they may have so much respect for you. They may be sizing you up like you're not going to put up with no mess. So they may be taking their time and in between time just planning and wanting and desiring and just peeping you out. See, they're going to come like this. Page of Cups. Now they could come in the Knight of Wands, but they, they don't want to come like that. Somebody recognize that you're something of value here. And they don't want to mess up. Knight of Pentacles. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpios? Knight of Pentacles. When somebody see you, they, they think about their mama. <laughs> That's what they feel. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpios? Taurus, Virgo, and Ca Ooh. Two of Cups. There they go. Planting seeds. See, somebody say stuff. Can Ooh, there it is again. That's what they feel. See, Seven of Pentacles. They've been looking. At Somebody's been holding out until they found the right one. And 
they done found the right one with you. See? See? Seven of Cups in the reverse. This person been holding out on a real commitment because they ain't never met the right one until you. This is why this person gonna come in here offering you something real. They can't deny this is what they feel when they see you. They see relationships. They see longevity. They see happy home. They see mama. They see mama cooking them good meals in the house that they gonna provide. They say, you, they say you look like the type of energy that make a house a home. That's what they need in their life. They say that you look like you can cook a mean meatloaf with some home scratch potatoes. Not no, not no instant. You actually chop up your potatoes, okay? <laughs> they say you got them hips. You got them childbearing hips in that empress energy. They know you can cook. This is what they're looking for, Scorpios. A mother figure somebody here who has a gentle soul but fixes everything somebody needs you to fix them honey Ooh, two of cups what's up with the two of cups for Scorpios could be a Capricorn a Libra Aquarius Leo Scorpio Taurus two of swords though why is the two of swords here with this two of cups In denial, not wanting to see this, don't, oh, snap. For some of you Scorpios, you got this one soulmate that's taking their time coming in for some of y'all. It could be the same person, look. Now you got the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. How much is that? They be they be blasting the radio in the in the mail truck. Yeah, I hear how loud that. <laughs> you could be ignoring this person from your past, Scorpios. But you definitely got a soulmate that's slowly making their way in. They've been waiting. If this is somebody from your past, they've been waiting to see if you're going to come back. And if you don't come back to them, they're coming back to you. Dr. Love, because Dr. Love be correcting me and things. Two of Cups, Two of Swords for Scorpios. He said, he said a cowboy, he said, he said, how he going, he said, he, he said, now nah, if he going, if he going to pull, he said, if he going to leave, he pulling off, he ain't taking off. <laughs> I was on the cowboy town. I was like, hee-haw. I was trying to talk cowboy language, okay? I thought he had uh, took off. <laughs> <It was laughs> oh, two of cups, two of pentacles. Y'all don't come for me. I'm country. My slang ain't like everybody. Ooh, see? There it is. Ace of cups. Look at them. There they go. There goes somebody. Somebody strong, soulmate, past life relationship. You got the two of cups, and now you got the six of cups. For some of you guys, you got somebody coming in from your past, but you got the two of cups with the six. Because we clarified the two of cups. You got the two of cups twice and the six of cups. So for some of y'all, you may have your past soulmate coming back in while y'all going to meet a new soulmate. Some of y'all about to meet a new soulmate while your old soulmate trying to... They're going to meet up and they're going to talk. Yeah, they're going to sit down and have drinks together and everything. They're going to discuss you. There that magician card is again. Some of y'all manifesting your soulmate back from your past and they coming. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Scorpios? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands. Competition, confusion. I feel like something is shifting in that energy. It's changing. It's going to go from a place of confusion to a place of desire and happiness. Longing. Optimism. See? Told you. See there? They go to Sun. Could be a Leo. See? Whatever the confusion was in your love life, Scorpio, that's changing, that's shifting, that's getting on out the way. 
See there? You're going to have... Look at here. See? You got opportunities coming in. See? The Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. See what the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in? You see the sun is... Out. Look. Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune is serving you well. See? The Wheel of Fortune... The five of wands, whatever that five of wands energy, the wheel of fortune is going to change that with the sun card. And look what all that's bringing in. A new opportunity and something long-term and fulfilling. You got the new love and the passion. I'm just saying. Boy, is this good. Mm -mm, could be dealing with the Aries. I write the five of pentacles for Scorpios. Clarify the five of pentacles. For some of you guys, especially with this unattractive in your over here, you may be about to enter into something or something amazing is happening in your life where it's going to change. It's going to change your finances too. You got the Ten of Pentacles twice. You got the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you guys, you're, you're elevating to that Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords. Like I feel, whatever it is that's been kind of chaotic in your life, this Wheel of Fortune is going to bring some fresh energy. So it's going to change the outcomes in your favor now. Five of Pentacles for Scorpio. See? They go to Ace of Wands. See? And my dream. Oh, I just finished saying your wishes and dreams coming true. Aquarius. See? Some of y'all about your finances is about to get better. Because you, you're working hard and you're manifesting this. But you also got somebody manifesting you. I've been seeing somebody manifest you for a long time, Scorpios. See? Look at that. Five. Queen of Swords. Now, for some of you guys, you're dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. They could have been doing some soul searching, or maybe you've gotten your emotions back on track where you're more disciplined. You may have did a lot of healing. You could have been feeling unattractive once upon a time because you need to release and to heal. But I feel like if that's what you're doing, then I see things turning out beautifully for you. And you're definitely going to have a strong connection. See, now here they come. Knight of Pentacles. It's almost like when you do the work. Some of y'all dealing with the air sign. Here they come. Or they could have been doing the work. Now here they come. Now they go that same Knight of Pentacles coming in to this. So maybe they were, maybe I were mirroring each other. But some of you guys, you got more than one person that's coming into your life. Now, what's up with this other Ten of Pentacles? For Scorpios, clarify Ten of Pentacles. Temperance, divine time and patience, reconciliation, Sagittarius energy. See? Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Scorpios, y'all finna get it with this purse and secret that go to Wheel of Fortune. Everything has been, everything is about divine timing. For some of you guys, you and this person, y'all destined to be together. That's probably why you're going through so much mess with this person. See? I feel like this, this Wheel of Fortune is bringing in a transformation in their, in their energy as well as your energy. See, somebody's going to change a lot of things. Or this person, somebody is... Things are, things are changing. And like I said, if you was on the other side of karma, the bad side, or not so good outcome, you're about to reap the good rewards of good karma. And it's going to affect people around you. It's going to affect your situations, your romantic life, everything. It's working out in your favor. It's almost like you things are turning in your favor once again. And I know we be saying it, but that's just what it is. Because maybe you wasn't feeling your best at first, but you got that empress there. It's almost a, it's almost like everything that you think is not happening because you're thinking wrong, it really is working out in your favor. This is going to put you where you deserve to be, this empress. That's why you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles twice. Now you got the Ten of Cups. See? Echo that five of pentacles again. Somebody, somebody feels left out. I feel like it's that same person coming in. You may be making somebody feel left out because you may not no longer be extending your heart space. You may just be manifesting your own. Mm. 
There go a king of pentacles. Ooh. Six of pentacles. Mm. I feel like somebody. Oh my goodness. Here we go. It's not going to be the same for everybody. But for some of y'all. That king of pentacles is leaving a situation. A situation that they used to give to. Because I feel like they're trying to come back to you. This could be the person you're about to meet. This could be a new person. They just probably got out of something. Some of y'all's a Capricorn. What's up with this Ten of Cups? The Hermit. See? See? And they go to Hierophant. Some type of relationship is over for somebody, Scorpios. So you may be meeting somebody after they just got out of a relationship, Scorpio is what I'm hearing. Or if it's somebody that you know, they're leaving a relationship for you. One more card for this Ten of Cups for Scorpios. Ooh, Scorpios. Ooh, echo the Queen of Wands. You got the Queen of Wands. Did I see the Queen of Cups? And they go the Queen of Cups. It's this person is changing. Something is changing with this person. Where they're where they're wanting you. See, because you got that say. Making up their mind. Answering the call. Somebody's finally making up their mind about you. And I'm tired of seeing this, but that's just what it is. But it's almost like if you done took your power back and you're moving on, that's what's gonna attract to you. Because it's already doing it. See? So spirits say don't back down and keep on moving, Scorpio, because it's working. Spirit says, Scorpio, don't back down. Self-love yourself. Know your worth. It's working. See? There's an obsession. You got a stalker. You got somebody's undivided attention when you start loving yourself first, Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, this your love reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.